We need uh, places for youth to be engaged when they're out of school. Uh, we know that between three in the afternoon and probably seven or eight are the most dangerous times for young people. But what are we as a community doing to keep our youth engaged and uh, doing positive and constructive things that will make them leaders and solid citizens. What we're trying to do with the George Washington Carver Community Center is to celebrate all humanity, uh, validate all individuals who come through our doors so that we are able to improve their quality of life and expand on opportunities that they might have. On a daily basis, there were three to 400 children here. What could we do in Peoria if we're educating kids three to 400 in the evening, if we have them on that stage, pulling their talent out, if we have them in the gymnasium playing basketball, if they're being tutored to go to college, how are you not making a difference and uh, changing Peoria and then eventually changing our society? Uh, without the support from the community, the business community, we couldn't do it. Um, the George Washington Carver Center is different in the sense that we don't receive any state support. There's no money coming from the federal government. Uh, all of our programming is done through either donations or sponsorships. But Ameren was one of those companies that gave us time and place to allow us to be who we are and where we are today. And what is so remarkable, and I think that is powerful, is that when you have human beings who want to help others and they have a, a, they have a goal in mind, and it is a good thing, it happens and lives are changed and that's what we're trying to do now.